Welcome back to Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, I'm going to show you how to locate the sequence of a specific gene for a specific protein. And this approach is going to work regardless of whether you only know the protein name or you also know the code for that protein through Uniprot. Okay. And instead of just randomly searching on GenBank and doing a lot of work, we're going to use this formula right here and make it very simple. In this example, we're going to look for the gene sequence of the protein Aladdin. And we'll do it one of two ways. We're going to first just use the protein name, because in some cases you may not know the protein code. And then we'll go and use the specific protein code and get the exact same result. Okay. So let's go to the internet browser. The first thing we'll need to do is access uniprot.org. You can either type in this website into your search bar or go to Google and just type in uniprot and it should be probably the first link. So since we're looking for the protein Aladdin, if we did not know the protein code, which is specific for the particular species, we can just type in Aladdin and hit enter. All right, now obviously here we have a bunch of different uh, versions of Aladdin that come up. We have one in Homo sapiens, one in mice, fruit flies, etc. We only want the one for C. marillae, which is the organism that we're working with, and we don't want to have to scroll through all of this. So what we can do is go over here to other organisms, it's a little bit down the page, and we can type in a keyword, like I'll just type in marillae. Here we have Cyanidia schizon marillae. So we just click that and hit go, and this takes us to the exact protein that we want. We see here that it has the code M1VE21. If we actually look at the protein code, that's the exact same one we have here. So we know we're actually on the right protein. And so what we did there is we just typed in the name of the protein and then we went over to the search bar on the left side and just typed in the name of the species. And it usually will narrow it down like this. Alternatively, what we could do is if we already knew the protein code, we could just simply type that into the search bar. So the protein code for Aladdin is M1VE21. I'm just going to copy and paste this in. And this, if you know this, bypasses that initial work. And it takes you directly to this page, which you can also access the other way by just clicking on the link. Now, once you're on this page, we're actually going to scroll through and click on what's called the XM number. This is another code for the actual gene encoding this protein, um, and it's actually going to be a link. So we're going to scroll down until we find it, and here's the XM number. This XM number, it's XM underscore, and then it's going to have a numerical code. What we can actually do is just straight up click that link. So that takes us to this. Now there's a bunch of other metadata here, all sorts of other pieces of information like where this gene sequence came from, which paper, and so on and so forth. Um, here's the protein sequence of amino acids, and then here's the gene sequence right here. But if we want to get this in a more readable form, or at least readily usable form, we're going to go back to the top of that page and click on Fast A. So at the very top here, we're going to click on Fast A, and it's going to open this up. This is nice because what I can do is I can then just highlight all the nucleotides here and then just copy and paste that into whatever document I need. So that's actually what I have right here on this page. Now, here's your gene sequence and you can do whatever uh, you want with it. In the next video, we're actually going to design forward and reverse primers using this gene sequence. Okay. Um, one thing I'll also mention is this XM code. Um, this would be a good idea to write down because when you eventually are sequencing a gene, and let's say you have a gene that you suspect to be Aladdin, and you're going to sequence it and get some sequencing results back, when you use BLAST or some other similar program to identify the gene, one very useful piece of information as an identifier is this XM number. This is because in some organisms that are not well studied, some of the proteins may not be named in the same way. Okay? They may just have some code and they won't be named in the same way that they are in humans or mice. And so it may not be obvious which gene you actually have. But if you just compare it to the XM code, which we'll do a little bit later, this will be a really good way for you to identify the gene sequence that you have so you know you're expressing the right protein and so on and so forth. But in any case, that is how you go from 
uh, the protein name or its code to finding the gene sequence, all right? And you can just repeat that over and over again for as many genes as you need. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you very much.